going to sound dumb, but how much knowledge would you require for someone to have about a Magneto's operation for a commercial ride? No, I, that's not dumb. I mean, the basic knowledge of a Magneto I would expect you to have is, do you know the basic principles of how a Magneto works and its potential failure modes? So knowing that there's two Magnetos, that they're independent of the electrical system, that you might have a partial power loss if you lose one Magneto, uh, that you can troubleshoot the Magnetos by turning the by isolating the left and right magneto so in flight right if you have a really rough running engine i would want you to know as a commercial pilot that you could reach down and you could go instead of both go left and go right back to both see if that changes anything right another thing i might ask as a commercial pilot if you don't demonstrate it during the flight is when we come into parking and you shut down if you don't do a hot mag check on shutdown I may ask you, hey, what's a hot mag check? And how could we check to see if we had a hot mag? How would we do that? And, and so if you're not doing this, public service announcement, start doing this. When you pull into parking and you're done, go back to idle. You want to do this quickly and carefully. You want to turn both mags off. Take the key before you pull the mixture, turn the switch all the way to the off position and make sure that the engine starts to die. And you want to make sure you're in idle, right? Don't let it die completely. And then turn it back to both. That's the part you want to be careful with. If you slam that switch all the way back on like a Cessna, you're going to engage the starter and the engine's already moving and that could damage your starter. So don't do that. But just do a simple hot mag check where you go from both to off, verify that the engine dies, and then back to both. And what you're doing there is you're verifying that you don't have a broken P lead. And so the P lead is what grounds the magneto to the airframe. And if that breaks, then there's no way for that switch to work because what that switch is doing is it's grounding out the magneto. Well, if there's nothing to ground the magneto out to, that means it can't ground out the magneto. So that means when the switch is in the off position and there's a broken P lead, the magneto that has that broken P lead is hot. So it would be like leaving the key in the left position or the right position. So that means if you're not careful and you move that propeller and the impulse coupling activates that it could fire the magneto and cause the, the engine to start inadvertently.